A little bit of it's necessary, but I think it's overdone. I think we do too much of this strength and conditioning. I said, listen, at the end of the day, all I want my fighters to do is to walk into the boxing ring and be able to box 12 rounds. I don't care how much weights they can lift up. I don't care how fast they can run or jump or how high they can jump. I care how, how, how long they can box for and how, how successful and how good they can box. And, um, you know, that's, that's what I try my boys to do. I try my boys to be boxers and uh, to make sure they can spar 12 rounds. Becoming a boxer changed my life. I wouldn't be here today. I'd more than likely be dead or in jail. So um, I, I owe boxing my life. I owe it everything. And I mean, I mean, everybody who puts a glove on and whether you have success or not, you love what you're doing. It's um, it's the ultimate sport. It's the two people using their their fist to, to prove uh, that they're better than each other. And I think that's the ultimate. I mean, I, there are a lot of other sports, but for me, the toughest and the best sport in the world is boxing. Well, the real, the real reason why I loved it so much was because I was able to give back something to the people who helped me and supported me and loved me. Like my trainer, every time I won and I seen that smile on his face, I thought that I'd done something great. Every time I won and seen the people around me celebrate, I thought I'd done something great. I made a lot of people happy. And that was, um, that was the main reason and the main motivation for me. And then all of a sudden you start becoming better and you become world champion. And um, wow, uh, there's nothing better than that. Yeah, it's, it's totally different. What, the one thing that I've learned before anything was that um, everybody's an individual. You gotta treat everybody as an individual. Um, Jeff's different to Joe, Joe's different to Peter, so you, and you've got to learn about them. You've got to learn about the individual, you've got to learn about their mindset as well as everything else. And you've got to, you've got to know how and what buttons to push to make, you, make sure you can get the best. And that's knowledge. And you get that from being around people and learning from people. And um, I've been very, very blessed. I had an amateur career, went to the Olympics, and then um, you know, I had my professional career. I trained Mike Tyson, now I've trained many, many boxers. And um, I think, like I said, um, it was a very, very hard challenge. Training is so different to, to training yourself or being yourself because, like I said, everybody's different. And not everybody can do what you've done. You know, sometimes you think, ah, oh, I could do that, I can do why can't you do that? Because we're all different. We're all built differently, we've got different mindsets. But um, I've learned a lot about that and I'm making sure that I pass it on to all the fighters and I make sure they're all individuals and I teach them individually. No, it, it could be, it could be, it could be um, detrimental, but it could be great. And what I'm seeing at the moment in the training and in preparation for Deontay Wilder, I think it's been a very, very good thing. I've seen him do things that um, I, I would have liked him to do earlier, and he wasn't doing. So I think that um, yeah, everything is going really, really well, and I think that this is going to be the best and the hardest fight out of the three. Uh, I'm very, very blessed. The WBC have given me a, an open door to fulfill my boxing dream. And my boxing dream is not just for myself, it's for the people who I, um, I train and help and uh, am around. And I think that, um, yeah, like I said about all my belts and all the success I've had in boxing, um, the WBC stand out because it's not, about, it's not just about boxing. We're family and, um, you know, whether I was here for a fight or whether I was just here to say hello to the, to the WC boxing family, they make me feel the same. So I'm very, very blessed to be, um, you know, one of the one of the very, very loved WC boxers. So I'm I'm, I'm very, very blessed. Yeah, yeah um, you know, whenever Mauricio asks me to do something for the WBC, I always put my hand up. I kind of believe that I'm one of the guys who's still. I'm very, very smart. I know about the sport. I know about human nature. I know about what people like and what they don't like. And um, I think that when it comes to being an av advocate, um, I think Mauricio is very, very proud of what I bring to the WBC. And I'm very, very proud to be part of that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very funny, but I'm more, um, although I'm excited for the big fight, my boxer Brock Jarvis fights on the 16th of October in Fresno. 
and um, very, very nervous. It's his first fight over here. It's a big step up for him. So I'm nervous and I'm just getting, my, my main source of energy is getting him ready for the 16th of October. He's, he's going to fight in Fresno? Yeah, he's fighting in Fresno on the undercard, the Mikey Garcia. I'm going to be there. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> gonna You're going to see somebody very special. Yes.